attack all of them? Good. Jones, I took a real beating during the fall. Leg broke like a dry twig. Want some advice? Don't get old. Hopefully, Kirstilev can patch it up well enough for me to walk. In the meantime, you should be looking for a way out of here. And hey, thanks. Fonius Crystal is through the next door. Hop down, yes? This one will follow. Zadaza will disarm it. Exhilarating, yes? This one thinks the door is unlocked now. Give it a push. <laughs> you see? You aren't the only one who can find side passages. Note this one's very genuine oh, surprise. The Kajinjat crystal! At last! Should just be a matter of wedging the pressure plate and uh, there. Finally, what was that? Mara's mercy, run! Distracted Walker, Zadaza will open the door. By the roof. Uh, I like the blades. Draw the ooze over them. Uh, 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 What in Stendar's name is that? Damn leg! I'm right behind you. A chest! We should leave it, elf. You'll never get out in time. Right, you're right. Run! the ladder. Quickly, please.
I hope you see now. I do not exaggerate about the Zanmirs. Are you all right? You are not wheezing or leaking blood from your ears. That is something, at least. A fair question. In truth, I came to rescue Famia. I will admit a certain affection for her. She is kind-hearted and loyal, like a hedge gecko or one of your tiny bark dogs. I would not want her to come to harm. I am glad to see you safe as well. Ha, ah, no. Have a care with that crystal, Biko. If it is truly the Kajinjot, you should not let it jangle around in Vamiya's purse for long. I know that, if mishandled, it could lead to something very dangerous. So I would appreciate it if Vamiya stayed safe at home, for a time. It has been many long hours since my last Sundos, after all, and I try to limit my rescues to one per day. That Zookas is always so polite. I don't know where I'd be without him. Uh, despite the mishaps, we have the Kajinjak Crystal, thanks in no small part to your contributions. Cause for at least modest celebration, right? <sighs> no, of course not. Though some have gone worse. Uh, anyway, we shouldn't dwell on the missteps and bungles. Need I remind you that we recovered the Kajinjak Crystal? An item of immeasurable historical import. Uh, yes, well, uh, I had hoped to discuss that in private. Provided this little misadventure hasn't driven you from the business completely, I'd like to bring you on for another task. Let me settle up here, then I'll meet you in my office in Lomoth. Farewell, everyone. Please, do not make me do this again. Well... <laughs> That was exciting, right? I have never seen more spiders. Are you joking? We nearly died. Welcome, my friend, to exploring with Famia. Oh, that's hardly fair. Our last expedition was... Spike Pit. Well, yes, but before that... Angry Naga Heart Eaters. Ah, but what about that trip north? That wasn't... Many, many crocodiles. Madus lost his hand to one. Remember Madus? Zadaza mostly remembers his screams. Yes, yes, but need I remind you? We acquired the Kajinjak crystal. Good for you. As for me, I'm out. This elf is sticking to woodland adventures from now on. Smart. I'm sitting the next one out too. Here, elf. I'll walk you home. Are you certain you're up to it? Ale's cheap in Lil Moth, and there's not a beast alive that's going to stand between me and a tankard right now. Fair enough. Just take it slow, all right? A one-legged Imperial and a wood elf fresh out of the cradle go wandering into the swamp. What could go wrong? I can't believe we all nearly died in there. Can you imagine? A child of the green choked to death in some dusty stone ruin? Anyway, I'm alive, and I have you to thank. If you ever need a favor, come find me. I owe you my life, friend. And that's a debt I take very seriously. To be honest, I think this was my final adventure. Even with Kirsteleth's help, my leg is mangled for good. But I'll find a way to repay you. Count on it. <sighs> Another temple conquered, eh? Closest call this one has seen in years, though. You did well in there, Walker. Zadaza thinks you might have a future in this business. I'll see you back in Lilmoth, right? My office. Talk to you soon!
the Saxlil generally choose to live in tribes based around a history, Lilmoth is a merchant town with no true leadership. You're here! Excellent! Welcome to the headquarters of Cyrodiilic Collections. Now, we have business to discuss, right? I hope our experience in the Zanmir hasn't put you off adventuring for good. Uh, yes, yes, we'll get to that. But first, payment for services rendered. You helped me acquire the Kajinjat Crystal and recovered three Argonian treasures besides. Peerless work, my friend. Peerless! Please, take this payment with my compliments. Now then. Are you ready to discuss my offer? I certainly hope so. I honestly don't know what I'll do if you turn me down. It's grave business, you know? I'm not trying to apply undue pressure or anything, but yes, serious business. It's my missing companions, Eshraf and Dynia, the explorers whose bags we found out in the marsh, remember? I told you I sent them to recover Vaca stones, but that wasn't all they were looking for. They were looking for the remnant of Argon. A legend. Some say it's a massive gem, others a magical egg. Either way, I fear Eshraf and Dynia's disappearance is linked to their search. Zukas agreed to look into it, and it seems he's found something. Could you speak with him? Zukas's message said to meet him at the Tiba Enu field in Alton Mirhalil. Tiba Enu's a local sport. I have no idea how it's played. There's a ball involved, I know that. I'm, I'm babbling, sorry. I do this when I'm nervous. Uh, please, be careful. Oh, certainly. Zukas enjoys friendly relationships with practically everyone, even the Nagas. Some of Lilmoth's investors see him as a bit of a swindler, but that's rooted in their ignorance of Argonian culture more than anything else. The Nagas are a breed of Argonians. I guess breed is the term. Sounds a bit offensive, doesn't it? Oh dear. Well, let's just say they're a different kind of Argonian. The Deadwater tribe is a Naga group, but tribeless Nagas wander all over Merkmire. Hostile? Well, I mean, they're certainly aggressive, but hostile has all kinds of connotations I'd rather avoid. What matters is they react with violence to practically any intrusion. For instance, they abducted me once about a year ago. Well, one of my expeditions took a brief detour into Deadwater territory. They took us as hostages almost immediately. I tried to impress upon them my deep love and admiration for Argonian culture. <laughs> they broke my arm in three places, tied me to a raft, and sent me headfirst down Hukep Falls. Luckily, I'm a strong swimmer. I'm casting them in a very poor light. Honestly, if you can see past the idle cruelty, they're really quite pleasant. Honestly, I'm... Are you sure you want me to bring you into this? Eshraf and Dynia only knew its name, and now they've probably been kidnapped. Very well. As I said, no one really knows what the Remnant is, but it's just... it's just everywhere. Tree minders whisper about it when they think no one's listening. It's tucked away in poems and songs. It's always there, just below the surface. Like I said, people think it's just a legend, so they ignore it. But once serious scholars like us start asking questions, start making those first quiet discoveries, all the opportunists crawl out of their holes to take their nibbles. All the folktales imply that the Remnant shares a deep connection with the Hist, but the rest is pretty murky. Songs about the Remnant almost always end with a hero plucking it from the roots of a tree and ushering in a new golden age. Others... Well, some of the songs end with an unworthy snake swallowing the Remnant, 
and turning into a hideous giant that ravages the land for 100 seasons. So, keep an eye out for snakes? Oh, certainly. The King and Afterpact are at Urinstan. They say the Orc Thane has taken refuge in... Good to see you again. I'm so glad you decided to come to Merkmire. I really am. We could use your help, and that's a fact. Where else would I be? I go where Famia and Concordia need me. And right now, that's right here. I'm cataloging the latest relics discovered by our explorers, and I need to be quick, quick. Look, I even found a place for the Cursed Skull. Oh, Concordia's off dealing with benefactors and recruitment back in the more civilized sections of Tamriel. Famia expects her to return soon, though, and that will be a good thing. The sisters work best when they work together. Where else would we put it? Oh, you mean the legend. I don't think the golden skull of Bilakar poses any more danger to Merkmire. At least, not any more than usual. Don't worry, though. We'll keep the skull safe. I promise, promise. Famia's a consummate researcher who's as smart as a sap speaker. She's a little less sure-footed when it comes to field work, but she does much better when Concordia's nearby to help her. Some of our benefactors also help out, such as Cassandra. As I said, one of Cyrodiil Collection's benefactors. She's wealthy, shrewd, competent. She might be the most competent Argonian I've ever met, and that's a fact. She's been quite instrumental in getting our current expedition off the ground.
Over here. Will you speak with me?
Mission initialized. <laughs> Were you able to find an animal core? I see you've brought back an animo core. It works, I assume. Good job. While you were gone, I figured out where to install the core. There's a cavity in the machine that looks to be about the right size. I think it goes in there. I'm not sure. I never went on a pilgrimage, so I've never seen the Grand Prognosticator in operation. My mother told me a few stories. She was always vague about the Oracle. Speaking of my mother, did you find anything else down there? How did you kn Oh, you found her. I didn't want to imagine what happened to her, but after seeing what you went through down there... Wait, how did you learn my mother's name if you just found her body? Let me see that. Hmm. A passphrase? My mother never mentioned anything about a passphrase. I wonder what she hoped to learn by talking to an obsolete factotum. I remember something about a sacred text, though. I'll ask Palbatan about it later. Prognosticator, tell me what the fates have in store for Comet of Slagtown. Reflecting. Charting possible outcomes. Comet of Slagtown. Minimum income. Inferior quality of life. Great, you know all about me. But what does it mean? What's my future, you stupid construct? Query. Reflecting. Prognostication unsatisfactory. Poor quality of life will lead to sickness, starvation, depression, and ultimately, death. Perfectly dire. Just what I expected. And what about my friend here? Reflecting. Reflecting. No relevant data in memory vaults. Error occurred. Please present yourself for immediate data collection. By the word of Set, I am bound. No pronouncements can be furnished without proper statistics to analyze. Please provide the appropriate passphrase or present yourself to a clockwork apostle for immediate data. By the word of said, invalid passphrase provided. Please present yourself to Sotha Seal's honored assistant to rectify the situation. Interesting. The prognosticator doesn't have a prophecy for you. More proof that it uses what it knows to make calculated guesses. But it predicted doom and gloom for me. Now I can change my future and show everyone that our fate isn't fixed. By doing the impossible, I'll find the lost treasure of the Radius. In the past, the pilgrimage included both a visit to the Prognosticator and a search for the treasure. That changed after a lot of people died during an unsuccessful hunt. Palbatan survived that doomed hunt. I'll get him to tell me exactly what happened. Then, I can retrace their steps, avoid their mistakes, and find enough wealth to change my fortune. Let's go find the old man in the Brass Fortress.
Are you sure about this, Comet? Remember what happened to your mother. With the Outsider's help, that treasure is as good as mine. Then everyone will see that the Prognosticator is a fraud! You talk to Palbatan. Tell him what we discovered. The stubborn old Dark Elf refuses to share any information with me about the lost treasure. You talk to Palbatan. When I asked you to help Kamid, this wasn't exactly what I had in mind. I want to see our people abandon the reckless pilgrimage to the Grand Prognosticator. But going after the treasure is just as dangerous, maybe even more so. Kamid seeks to replace one foolish pilgrimage with another. Very well. I can tell you that the treasure exists. I've seen the wreckage of the merchant caravan myself, but getting close enough to recover it? Impossible. Because of the massive fabric that prowls the area. Here, Grinder is bigger than three brawny Nords and a hundred times more dangerous. It slaughtered the pilgrims that attempted to recover the treasure. I was the only survivor. I'm still uncomfortable with all this, but I can see that you and Kamid are determined. The wreckage lies scattered far to the south, near the mountains that form the southern border of the Radius. Gear Grinder is a killer. Please, keep Kamid safe. By his word, I am bound.
Thank you again. Our injuries will heal, but I'll never forgive those sea drakes. Looking for a steady hand with a pickaxe ready.
you will find them. Phew, you really are something. How'd you wind up in a dump like this? Give me a minute to cut this. Little uh, boiler coolant gives it some bite. And there. Genuine Elden Root liquor. Promise you'll keep this between us. I like Bren too much to break his heart. He tries so hard to keep us in good spirits. I'll get out of here before you give it to him. Hello again, friend. Interest you in a rust crumble cake? It's not so bad once you get past the taste. Texture's nice. This is incredible. Wh where did you find it? I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Promise I'll stretch this bottle long as it'll last, now that I know better. Now that I got the base for a marinade, it'd be nice to have something to use it on. I'm afraid I used the last of the meat in our larder on that misbegotten stew. Well, that'd be great, but it'll be dangerous. Fabricated critters out in the wild are just as mean as the real thing. Real tender around the flanks, though. Maybe because the machine bits are doing all the work. About a dozen ought to last us a while. One more thing, a special request. Tuba be